Questionable. <laughs> How are you feeling today after the round? It's, it's alright. Still painful, but we'll see after how I feel before the game. So we didn't get to see what happened yesterday at practice. You saw that it kind of came out of five on five with some pain. Um, what happened there? I mean, nothing. We just bumped knees. Nothing really happened. You know, just bumped knees and nothing. I'm all good. Did that cause like any sort of reaction? No. Or still the same? Same. Gotcha. I feel sorry to answer the uh, Luca to be out and watch your team lose all these close games, these last three games. I mean, I don't really think it's it's the losing, but even if we're winning, you know, you, I want to play. Uh, that's my, you know, I always want to play. It's hard to be on a bench and watch. I'm way more nervous than playing, so I don't really like it. So hopefully, I'm I'm back really soon. So plan tonight is to try to play. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. We'll do everything possible to try to play, and obviously we'll see after. I mean, before the game. How much of this? Uh, this is the first time you guys played them since. Since the last playoff series, Did they seem the same to you or different to you? Obviously, you guys are a bit different. We know, obviously, they got Kawhi out, yeah. so I think yeah. they are different. But you know what? I think they have the same play. You know, we're physical. Uh, they stick to their playing. They have a great team. You know, PG is playing incredible this season, and you know, uh, they follow him, and they have a great team, and they just, like I said, play by their plan, and they're playing good. What have you learned about your team these last three games playing without you? I mean, I think we play good, I'll be honest, but just, uh, I think some minutes, you know, we talk about this, the whole team, you know, we relax a little bit and, you know, that causes, I think, all games, uh, but I think we play good uh, every game. What do you like about the way KP has been taking over games? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's playing great, you know, he's been aggressive and that's what he's been doing uh, this whole season. When you're out, in what ways do you kind of try and take a different role on the team? I try to be tenth coach. Or I don't know how many coaches we have, but the last coach, you know. But you know, sometimes uh, somebody asks me something. Uh, I tell them what I see. You know, what what can make us better, and I just try to help my teammates. Do you have any examples of when that's happened over the last couple of games? I mean, last game, KB asked me what I see out there, and we talk about that. Yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't get a win, but you know, uh, like I said, you know, we couple minutes we relax. And they, people make a run, but I think we played pretty great this last two games. I'm sorry if, you, if your uh, local writers already asked you this, but what, what have you just your relation with Jason has started? Started and how have you learned? You've learned from him, but also with, with who? With, with, with Coach Kidd, oh. with Jason. Oh, he's um, great. Yeah, a great relationship. You know, he's. Uh, I think he's been in my position uh, in, in, as a player too, so he understands me. Uh, and you know, like, his passing skills were amazing. You know, he was one of the best passers in the world. I think he still is. So you know, he helps me a lot. Is he, is he, is he like? Do you go to him or does he come to you? Right. Both ways. Both ways. Yes. Both ways. How did that start? Like over the summer when he came to see you, or? Did you... Yeah. I mean, that's I already met him before, but you know, that's that's when we really started. Yeah. You, did, growing up, did you watch him at all, or? I mean, I wasn't allowed to watch NBA games because they were yeah. uh, <laughs> three in the morning in my country, yeah. so I had school the next day. But you know, I obviously knew who he was. Have you gone back and watched it all? Or? No, no, I didn't. I watched some uh, highlights. You know, they yeah, they yeah. post a lot, so I watched him and Dirk play together. Obviously. <laughs> Any reaction, uh, Luca, to this year? Last time playing in the Staples Center? You know, we're gonna change the name on Christmas. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't, mind. I, don't care. I don't care about that. You've had some good games here. <laughs> it's a great place to play. Speaking of Dirk, what was your reaction when you found out in a couple weeks he's going to have his jersey retired and you guys will get to be part of those festive games? I mean, everybody knew that was going to happen, though. No. So <laughs> he wasn't really surprised. Uh, but, you know, he deserves that, this and everything and the statue he's doing. I mean, he gave it all to the Mavericks for 21 years, so he deserves everything that happens to him. What was your favorite memory of playing with him? What was that? What was your favorite memory? Like story or something that sticks out when you play with them, like any funny behind the scenes stories that we didn't know back then. Our defense was terrible when we played together. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I finished. But yeah. every time I pass him the ball, I know I was gonna get an assist because he couldn't miss. <laughs> so it goes both ways. Good deal. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And the Elliot from the last game too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know.